Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Sunday. It's about noontime. And I'm up in the city. I thought I'd come up and do a little walk around. And I just saw a really neat little alleyway that I'm going to slip into and, uh, and see where it goes. I've never noticed it before, but it uh, looked kind of interesting. But uh, finding a place to park up here is pretty difficult. And uh, today I picked the uh, Municipal Crematory. This is just north of uh, Airport Plaza, tucked in. And, there's uh, several places here where they, they burn bodies, not just one. As a matter of fact, when our dog died, this is where we brought her and the guy cremated her for us. It's a big place. Looks like they're getting ready to have a funeral right there in that one. But uh, we're gonna walk out here and get back out on uh, for a while I rode intersects. And uh, I saw a really neat uh, alley that I've never been to so I figured it'd be a good day to get out and explore it and I've got a story to tell you about a guy that just uh, made some bad choices and it, it uh, did not end up up very well for him and I'll tell you about that as we go along but I'm going to turn the camera off until we get back out on the street. I just noticed that the other day they've got a really nice paddle ball court over here there are a bunch of foreigners out here playing paddle ball the other day when we came walk, came driving through. But we are headed that way. An old fire pumper over here. This is also, I believe, the headquarters for the uh, fire and rescue. That thing looks like it's seen its better day. And then over there, you've got where they sell all the animals. I'm really not interested in going in there. But we're gonna walk out front and come around the side. Try to get across the street here without getting nailed. This is a really crazy intersection to try to get through sometimes because you get traffic coming from two or three different ways. But anyway, the story I'm gonna tell you about today, back in about, 1999-2000, guy came over here and uh, he meets this Thai lady and it's unclear how he meets her. I I've read some articles that said he met her in a bar, other articles just don't say so. I'm not going to make any speculation as to what you know how that happened it, you know we'll just he he met a he met a Thai lady and he fell in love so he goes back to his home country and uh, pretty much gets rid of everything he owns and he comes back over here with a pretty good pile of cash probably over a quarter of a million dollars and uh, he marries her and then he, uh, they moved to Isan, and he starts building a big, big house. And understand he built a restaurant and a guest house and, and quite a few other things. And I guess things were going pretty well for him for a while. Uh, one of the things that, in this story, you know, I have said this many times, never invest in Thailand or, or really anywhere that you're not willing to walk away from and you can't walk away from. And I, I think this is the situation this guy got into. He just, uh, he, couldn't, uh, he couldn't walk away from his investments because he didn't have anything else. Now this is where we're going to go. I have no idea where it comes out. I have no idea where it goes but we're gonna find out. And this is right where, well, if you look up there, there's Wild Eye Road that goes to the uh, Saturday Night Walking Street. But uh, anyway, he, he does all this and I guess things are going fairly well for him. And about nine years into the marriage he's own, he owns all this property because he's been paying for it I don't know if we'll be able to get through here or not we'll see 
like a Muay Thai gym. Huh. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't know if I can get through there or not. Don't, doesn't look like I can. Huh. Wow, we will go this way. I'm in a maze back here. I'll bet I'm in behind the... Ooh, easy, dog. Scared the hell out of me. I can go back there. I don't know where I'm coming out. Huh. Oh, I'm coming right back out on the road again. Well, we'll walk down through here. But anyway, he... Uh, he gets to check in. And he finds out, it says that his wife sold it, sold the property to the bank. Well, it sounds to me like what she did was she took a mortgage out on the property. Yeah, they sell all kinds of dogs and birds and all kinds of stuff in here. I don't think I would buy anything in here. We'll walk down here because I think there's another way I can get through. Pretty dogs. You almost like to buy them all and take them home and give them a good home. But anyway, he finds this out. Hello. He finds out that uh, she's mortgaged everything. And apparently he doesn't have any income coming in from outside the country because he doesn't have any money flowing. And I'm taking this from, from what people are saying because some of his friends and stuff and were bringing him food and uh, he was just having a heck of a time. I don't know if I can get through this way. Let's see where this goes. I don't know. I don't want to intrude on people's property. I don't know what this is. It's like a bunch of little houses. Huh. It's exactly what it is. Wow. This is the clone right here. Hmm. I don't know if you can walk through here or not. Doesn't look like it. There's a wall back there. Let me shut this thing off for a minute and go look. Well, this is where I've ended up. I have no clue as to where I am or where it's going to come out, but we can walk that way through the water or this way. I think we'll go this way. But that just looks like it ends right there. Now we'll go down there and see. But anyway, he, uh, he throws her out of the house. And she moves into a... It, it says a, a metal shack on the property. And he files for a divorce, and it's in the court system. And, oh, hey, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a good guy. Wow. And uh, it goes through the court system, and he's waiting on it. And he says that... He specs that she's trying to kill him. I don't know if I can get through here or not. Wow, there's the old wall. Huh. Interesting. You go this way. This way. I have no idea where this comes out. Wow, there's all kinds of houses back in here. By <laughs> Lao. <laughs> I am majorly lost. Let me turn this off here. He said it's okay to video, so I'm going to video. Thank you. Where am I? Okay, thank you. I don't know where I am. Where am I? Does it go out that way? To the road? Yeah, okay, thank you. Y'all just sitting here just relaxing and enjoying your time. I never, I've lived here for a long time. I never knew this was back here. 
but I make videos around Chiang Mai walking so people who come here and visit see see all the stuff and, and uh, you know just tell people about Chiang Mai thank you enjoy your day very lovely people thank you you know oh wait a minute okay I'm right out here <laughs> You come here only. You come here only. No, I have a um, wife, Pan Ria. You have yeah. Where you wife? Uh, in Hangdong. Oh. I live in Hangdong. I've been here 12 years. You don't have a, a canal, a small canal. Small canal is a, is a, is a, a bridge. Bridge? Uh, Where? Bridge. Yeah. Should I go that yeah, way? Go okay, go that way and go left. After. Okay. And, okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can go this way and that way? Yeah. You are right. It's a uh uh has a canal and it's the uh, the old bridge. The old bridge, yeah, okay. The old bridge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I go this way yeah, this and way. then go right. This way and right, yeah. Okay. Right, thank you. Thank See you, you all later. Thank nice you. to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay, we got to go back out this way. Wow, this is just amazing. I don't know what they're saying, but I love this. Let me see which way I go. There's all kinds of little bridges and stuff back here. I'm going to have to pass that dog again. Hello. Now she, is okay I video you? Can I put you on video? Oh, she's making stuff. Wow. Take my shoes off. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, she makes wallets and stuff, all kinds of stuff. Wow, this is really neat. I'm glad I found this little place. But anyway, back to the story. He gets a beer out of the refrigerator. He leaves one day and comes back and gets a beer out of the refrigerator. And he gets deathly sick. So he's already told his friends and written a letter back home to his lawyer that he was afraid she was going to kill him. Okay, I think I can go this way. And uh, he's almost afraid to leave. Wow, look at this. This has got to go somewhere. Man, I am totally, totally lost where I'm at, but we are here. But anyway, he, uh, he tells all his friends, and he's scared to leave, so he has people bringing him food, plus he doesn't have any money. He doesn't have enough money to get out of the, get out of the country. And he's, he's wanting the, uh, the divorce to go through so he can get his 50% of whatever he's bought. Wow, this is neat. Let's go up here. We can see from way up top. Wow. That looks like the old wall. I am out of breath too. But any anytime his friends come to, to visit him or bring him or anything, she comes running out of a running out of the place and telling everybody that's her place and leave. And apparently she's got some got her boyfriend there living with her. And uh He's just waiting for the divorce to go through so he can get the hell out of Thailand with a little bit of his money left. And uh, one day they come to bring him food and they pull up and his car's there. Everything's locked up and he's not, uh, wow, let's go. I think we'll go this way. Whew, I am totally lost. I've, I've turned on the Strava because I had a feeling this would happen. So I'll be able to show where I'm walking. But anyway, his friend comes and they can't get him to the door. His truck's there, so they go call the police. And uh, the police come back with them. 
and they get inside and they find him laying on the floor in a pool of blood. He's been there for a while. He's dead. He's been stabbed and beaten to death. And, uh, you know, they immediately go to the wife and she confesses to killing him and the boyfriend does as well. And, uh, you know, life's over for him. But, uh, you know, the thing about it was, let's see where, okay, this is, I know where that comes out. I think we're gonna walk back this way. I have no idea where we're going, but anyway, you know, the moral of the story is, if you're gonna buy a house, fine, you know, I mean, but you need to always have a set income that's, that, that you can rely on, well, there's all kinds of little places in here, to, uh, to fall back on if things go south. And apparently he didn't, so he couldn't get out of the country. And why his family didn't just, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that he was trying to recover whatever he could. Wow, there's some neat artwork right there. That's really pretty. See, these all go back, back into little houses back here. Huh. There's a dog there. I'm not going to get too close. This is a neat little area. But, uh, you know, you've got to... Uh, I see, I don't know where this goes. We'll go see where it goes. You've got to always have a plan B, and apparently he didn't. She's doing our laundry right out here. Swadi cop. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I know where I'm at now. Wow, just friendly, super friendly people out here. Let's see where this goes. I have no idea where I'm going to come out, but I'm going to get a good walk in and y'all will get a really decent video. Well, it doesn't look like I can go that way. See what these kids have to say. Yes, yeah, see, there's remnants of the old wall there. Huh. Can you get out that way? Thank you. Does that way take you out to the road? Soy? Okay, thank you. How you guys doing? You okay? <laughs> Playing young. Playing game. Playing game, okay. Well, let me walk through this way. He says this will get me out. Then we'll figure out where we're at. But uh, you got to have plan B. If you don't have plan B, you uh, you got problems. How long is this guy making? Hmm. I can't tell. I have no clue where I'm at. but we'll just keep walking. It's gotta come out somewhere. Wow, interesting. See, that's the old wall. Hmm. We'll keep going this way. Somebody's got their shoes. Wow. Gotta watch out for snakes too. Now he says this will get me through. I have no idea. Is this somebody's house? I don't want to get any. How do I get out of here? Oh, there's a gate right there. I bet I have to go through this way. That way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that little kid just came show me how to get out of here. This way. Thank you. Great. I'm going to make this little kid's day. This is neat. But you know, I felt sorry for the guy when I read the story. He just, uh, he'd invested everything he had here and he, he walked away with nothing. Not even his life. So, and you know, that's not, that's not real. Oh, thank you. Come right back out. For helping me, thank you. 
Okay, we get back out of here on the road. This is really cool. Let's see where I'm at. I think I'll come out not far from where the car's parked. Yep. Huh. Well, there's the video for today, and you got to see some stuff that most people will never see. Uh, areas that I wouldn't normally walk in, but I, as you can see, the people here are super, super friendly. Um, I've never run into a problem walking, walking in a neighborhood, or uh, even here in, in Vietnam, it was the same way. You know, I, we're in Vietnam, I walked in behind the hotel in, in areas that were a little bit different than that. And I was welcome, you know, it's, Asian people are different. But anyway, we're gonna head back to the car and I'll go home and edit this video and get it up for you. Appreciate y'all, bye bye. I should buy a lottery ticket while I'm here. I think I will. Oh, they're all the big ones. Hmm. Let's see. Hello. Can I get just one ticket? You pick. You pick for me, you pick. There she goes, she's pulling me off the lucky number. Thank you. 471714. Hey, that's pretty good. Lucky number. <laughs> Maybe I'll win, who knows. But anyway, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.